Uh, I was the uh, digital director for uh, President Obama's 2012 campaign. Uh, for us, and different companies structure digital and technology and, uh, and, and all those fields a little differently. For us, digital meant everything user-facing, uh, everything that you could actually uh, touch and read and watch and play with uh, online. So we didn't do the back-end infrastructure uh, and most of the coding, uh, but we did. Uh, we had all the writers, uh, the designers, video folks, uh, people doing content and creative uh, and creative strategy. When it came to communication, I mean, we, we had a, a sort of a three-word strategy that was really quite simple, which is don't be lame. And it's funny. You know, when you talk to uh, corporate marketers, when you talk to people who've been doing PR for a long time, they will themselves acknowledge um, not being lame has never really been their MO uh, because they're uh, sort of well versed in risk mitigation, they're well versed in how not to annoy stakeholders or uh, create problems, uh, but they've never had to actually deal with consumers who can click away uh, as soon as they don't like what they're, uh, what they're seeing uh, and making sure that what they're serving those consumers with is something that they like. Uh, obviously that, that content has to have a purpose it has to have a message, but uh, the consumer doesn't even get to the point of absorbing the message if, first and foremost, they think, well, this is dull. Uh, and so the most important thing we tried to do when it came to communication was just be interesting. I think a great example is uh, came from around, let's see, it would have been October of 2012, so toward the very end of the campaign. Uh, at that point, we were uh, arguing over tax policy uh, a, a lot and our argument was that Governor Romney's tax plan didn't add up. Uh, it was, a, if, from our point of view, a giveaway to millionaires and billionaires that wasn't paid for and he never really explained how it wouldn't explode the deficit. Uh, and so we wanted to uh, get at that but we didn't want to do just a policy white paper or a statement from an economist or something of that nature. Uh, you know, those things have their place. I mean, we did that sort of stuff all the time but, you know, when it came to actually getting people to understand what our point of view was and, and trying to create a sort of a fun, non-lame experience for people around, you know, this most arcane of topics, tax policy. Uh, you know, we wanted to, uh, you know, we wanted to create something different. Uh, what we wound up creating was a site called RomneyTaxPlan.com. It was very kind of the Romney folks not to uh, steal that domain before we got to it. Um, and uh, it, it was a big thing that said, you know, here, here, here's the Romney's tax plan and it was a gigantic button in the center of the screen that said get the details. And as you hovered over the get the details button, the get the details button danced away from you. And no matter where you put your mouse, you just could not click on this button. Uh, so it was kind of fun, and, and uh, it was it, it was a hit beyond even what we had uh, had hoped it would be. I mean, it was it had 1.5 million Facebook likes within uh, a day. It got tweeted 70,000 times. Uh, it's the only time in my personal uh, career that my own mom has sent me something that I was involved in creating, saying, "Have you seen this?" And I had to say, "Yeah, mom, let me. Uh, yeah, I don't think you understand. You know <laughs> what my job is. Yeah, I've seen it." Uh, but um, you know, the amazing thing about it was that a million and a half people actually read the associated blog post in which we actually went through the math in a more serious way. Um, if you clicked, I think it was like eight seconds. If you if you tried to click for the first eight seconds, you couldn't, and the button would dance around from you. Uh, after that, uh, if you clicked, it would actually bring you through to our blog post explaining the math. And we looked at bounce rate, we looked at time on site, every sort of indicator we had suggested that the people who got to this post actually read it. Uh, and so it's this kind of amazing thing where uh, by creating something that made our point, um, but did it in a way that was sort of fun and funny and shareable and different. It wasn't just taking a press release and putting it online in the most pretty uh, way we could. It wasn't even uh, an, an, an infographic that maybe could have been interactive because it was online but really could have existed in a newspaper 20 years ago. I mean, it was a completely different uh, kind of content. Uh, it was a content that just simply couldn't have uh, existed before the Internet. Uh, a really creative, I think, approach to a policy issue that people don't like talking about. Uh, and it obviously resonated with people. Uh, I, I, w I would not have thought that we could get a million and a half people to read a, a blog post on tax policy.